Hey folks, Alan Mandic, the Hot Rod Hippie here in the Trick Tools booth. We're checking out what they have on display at SEMA 2019, so let's check it out. SEMA 2019 coverage is brought to you by the fine folks at Trick Tools, high performance tools for fabricators and home of the no junk guarantee. SEMA coverage is also brought to you by the folks at SunX Tools, high quality hand tools, shop equipment and tool storage options at affordable prices. Links in the description down below. You know, there's a lot going on in this booth right now. They have things like the Strong Hand Tools Rhino Cart, a heavy duty working welding bench that you can use to fixture up things in your own shop for either production or just for your own project. They have my personal favorite, the multi-tool bench grinder that goes onto your standard bench grinder type setup, but it is a belt sander attachment on there. It really is a versatile tool that allows you to do a lot of things that even some other belt sanders don't allow you to do. They got the Mech Hammer Mark II, which I did a dedicated video to last year. You can check that out at the link up here. The thing that's really catching my eye and I've seen a lot of people eyeing it up is this drag motorcycle over here with a fully custom aluminum body metal shaped out and installed on here. So let's go ahead and hear a little bit about that. We got Bryson Smith from Trick Tools here to talk to us a little bit about this bike that he was working on SEMA Crunch, getting this thing ready to have in the booth. So tell us a little bit about what you had to do getting ready for this show. I mean, essentially, uh, you know, we've been doing the video series on the bike, so uh, that's been happening since earlier this year. So uh, it's kind of been an on and off project when we had time and that sort of thing. But the last few weeks, obviously had to push a little bit harder to, to get it done. So uh, we'll have the next two videos coming out here in the next probably month or so. Uh, but yeah, we just had to work a little harder to get a few things done, a couple late nights, uh, a couple days on a weekend, but it wasn't too bad. Can you tell us a little bit about like some of the equipment you used working on this project? Yeah, uh, so obviously some English wheel, uh, some planche hammer, used a little bit of shrinker stretchers, uh, Echo craft former, JS tool shrinker, a um, little bit of mech hammer. Uh, it's kind of been a, a mixture of it all and it's that's the the good part when you get to experience different machines you realize that certain machines are better at one function than maybe the other machine is so you get to kind of bounce around a little bit and uh, apply them all into one project so you guys have that video series showing the process of building this thing and it makes sense to to bring as many tools into that as you can that that is what you folks do obviously but like you say you know you can really highlight the different aspects the different important parts and and processes for building something like this complex shaped panels yeah. it's a it's a fun thing to be able to show people what the different machines do because sometimes when you just see a picture or uh, even a little video of one machine you don't get you don't get the full take on how you can mix two machines or three machines to, to pull off something really neat so uh, it's a unique opportunity to be able to do that yeah, that, that's something I run into problems with when I make videos. I'll often try to dedicate, like, I'm going to make a video about bead rolling this time, but then I need to bring the shrinker stretcher into it to because I'm shaping on a flange or, you know, and it, there's a lot involved with it. So, all right. Thank you very much, Bryce. Now we have Bruce Van Sant of Trick Tools here to talk to us a little bit. This is actually your motorcycle, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I uh, raced this motorcycle in the Pro Modified class, the Pro Star and IDBA series uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. So there's a lot of history tied to this with the, not only the business, but you know, your own family, your life. Yeah, you know, we built it ourselves, built the chassis from scratch because at the time we were just starting the tool business. We had tubing benders and uh, couldn't afford anything else. So we did, you know, do it all ourselves. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great. You know, we raced it for, we raced it all over the country, met a lot of great friends, but uh, eventually had to kind of set it aside and life priorities took over or business and family kind of thing. So now it's coming kind of full circle. You, you're selling all this metal shaping equipment now. You got this beautiful metal shaped out body on the thing. And actually your, your son's racing now, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, the body project we started 10 years ago with Clay Cook and, and uh, again, that kind of got set to the side. I really didn't know if it ever get finished. So um, just two years ago, we got the bike out and running again. My son's uh, riding it in the 460 uh, Pro Ultra class and uh, now the body's finished so it's pretty crazy all this kind of make makes a uh, full circle and uh, comes together at the end it's it's really amazing to see something like a something with history like that with not only family and business and all just come right around so yeah yeah it's been great fun and seeing you know seeing my son ride the bike down the track again it's kind of it's kind of great great experience so all right, thank you very much. Thanks. And that's our look at this Trick Tools booth for SEMA 2019. As always, these folks have high quality equipment. There's a lot going on here. Gene Winfield was here talking to Ben Burlow about the Mech Hammer Mark II. Ron Covell was in there. Bruce Van Sant, all in the same shot. 
I mean, there's just a lot going on here. Ron's doing his little demonstrations. There's things to learn. There's tools to buy. Trick Tools has been one of the sponsors of the Hot Rod Hippie SEMA 2019 content, and I greatly appreciate having them on board. And I only work with companies that I actually believe in working with. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So go ahead and drop the video a like if you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below. Is anything that really caught your eye in there? Do you just really like that drag bike? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the links in the description down below to Trick Tools for their equipment and also for those YouTube videos to check out about the bike and the product videos that they do on a regular basis. Get subscribed, keep up to date with all the content all week long. Thanks for coming around, folks.